We're gonna do a quick how-to on putting the fifth wheel attachment on a conventional wrecker to get a fifth wheel or gooseneck trailer. So here we have your basic conventional wrecker. You probably wanna pull the slides off of it if you can, get them out of the way. Uh, you're going to be taking the uh, mount there, which in this case is already kind of put together with the plates, but easy enough to show you how it sets on the wheel lift. And there are a series of pins and cotter pins that attach this thing to the wheel lift. Uh, there's one long one that goes in the back and two short ones that go on either side of the T-bar there. Um, the cotter pins just slide into the end of the pins and it just keeps them from sliding out. So you want to make sure to have a cotter pin in each one of those securing pins for the wheel lift attachment. Uh, once you get the pins put in and everything's put into place, you want to take the safety chains that are on board your truck and kind of drape them out there where they're not extremely tight, but they're adjusted in as tight as they can be by hand. And then you can actually take the wheel lift itself, uh, the negative tilt, push it down. You probably want the negative tilt up whenever you install the attachment so that you have room to pull it down and tighten those chains. Same thing when you get to the fifth wheel. So when you arrive at the scene, of course you want to back up and get as close as you can to it to kind of get an idea of how and where you're going to hook it up. Uh, before you do anything, you might want to loosen the chains to where you can make adjustments to the wheel lift because you really can't slide the stinger in and out. You can only use the up and down and the negative tilt to adjust the wheel lift because of the way that the fifth wheel attachment sits on the, the wheel lift. Uh, so once you get it lined up, you wanna make sure the boom's up out of the way because you don't want that to poke anything, but you don't wanna make sure it's too high for clearance purposes. And uh, just get her lined up and uh, back up once you've uh, secured the vehicle into place you can then take the locking pin for the fifth wheel mount and securely attach the fifth wheel to the fifth wheel attachment so now you can lift the fifth wheel up or the trailer up uh, lift it a little high so that you have room because you're going to tuck those chains back in and then set the negative tilt back down to tighten the chains and make sure everything's secure you don't have to tighten them too tight, just snug enough to where everything's taut. Next thing you want to go ahead and hook up the trailer lights if applicable. Sometimes you may have to use like a, your wireless light bar or a um, set of tow light systems long enough to reach the back of that trailer. Some trailers are equipped with an emergency brake for where if you tie that to something solid on your vehicle, if the trailer were to fall off, it would engage the emergency brake system, thereby stopping the trailer. Go ahead and lift and remove the feet and blocks out from underneath the trailer. There's usually some kind of mechanical system on board to uh, lift those feet and get them out of the way. You don't want those to drag on anything on the way. Check the tires. Uh, check and make sure they're not too worn out or low on pressure. Run around and make sure everything on the trailer is secure. Um, the slide outs, make sure they're, they're not gonna slide back out or they're secure. All the doors and any attachments or accessories or anything are nice and tied down and secure. Um, it should be pretty smooth sailing after that. Be careful, watch your length, uh, pay attention to your clearance because low trees and uh, stuff like that will scratch the top of the trailer. Uh, again, make sure your lighting equipment works. If the trailer's been sitting in the spot that it's on for quite some time, it's always a good idea to get it out to road level. Um, check again to make sure everything's secure and that the vehicle's level to your liking um, before you get underway. It's always a good idea to check everything twice. Thanks for watching.